So this is, uh, I'm not sure why, I, I've never seen uh, anyone um, show something like this before, so I just thought I'd uh, uh, put it down on paper and uh, maybe someone can try and make it. So um, there's Archimedes screws have been uh, used to pump water for, I don't know, about uh, two and a half thousand years. And uh, then in sometime in the 1980s, I believe, uh, someone pa uh, patented a thing called the uh, hydrodynamic screws, which is just um, Archimedes uh, screw working in reverse. So I'm just wondering why um, nobody has combined the two. So the hydrodynamic screw is um, used for hydroelectricity production so um, you know so so at the top of it you're generally going to have a um, uh, a more uh, um, a generator uh, attached here so it's uh, attached to a generator <clears throat> but if you had them uh, uh, combined uh, it might make uh, a good water pump in certain situations I don't know what the best pitch for um, an Archimedes screw or a hydrodynamic screw is. So I just um, did something that was easy to draw on paper. But anyway, um, the water going down the hydrodynamic screw um, gives it a, a little push to the left or right. So it starts to spin. And then what you would do is you'd have <clears throat> one of the... Um, the um, uh, flanges on the um, Archimedes screw a little bit longer and it would catch some water too as as they spun. So um, it would um, be catching the water, it would have the opposite um, twist on it and it would pump the water, up the, it's all on the one shaft so it would uh, pump the water higher. So uh, that's that's just the principle, and um, so I have forty five degrees of an angle on this, and maybe a totally different angle would be um, the better angle. You know, sixty degrees might be better. I don't know, but anyway, I just uh, I'm just putting it out there as a food for thought for people because it's simple. So the water would go into um, the top of the hydrodynamic screw. Uh, in um, the way I see it and then it would be sitting on um, two wheels uh, to support it and there'd be a standard um, you know kind of axle with um, down here at the bottom and then it could be pumping up to um, a height which can be determined by um, uh, you know, the engineering, and um, so you might use um, uh, a one meter or one and a half meter uh, power to pump water up to maybe two or three or four meters. So that's just the idea of it. Um, um, I don't know if it's feasible or not, but uh, no one seems to have done it, so just putting it out there. Thank you.